Hi guys, welcome to this PowerPoint presentation on COVID-19 versus cancer, heart, liver and kidney deaths. What this video is going to show you is a time-lapse graph of deaths recorded. So you can see at the top there COVID deaths for each day during April and May, just in two months. At the bottom you can see a little graph where it shows you the average daily death for the others, cancer, heart, liver and kidney. As you can see, as the COVID gets under control, they then start being more than the COVID deaths. And as you, came, as you come down into July, that would get less and less for COVID and more and more for the others. So that's a daily representation. Now this is the weekly average. Again, at the top there, you've got a, a little graph which gives you the deaths per week on average from cancer, heart, liver and kidney. And then the COVID deaths going through those four weeks in April and four weeks in May. And you can see how that pans out. And then the last little chart shows you how that pans out if you add up all the heart, cancer, liver and kidney deaths against COVID. And you can see that they're all quite lower lower than the COVID deaths altogether. So how have I done all this? Well, basically the COVID deaths I captured off the internet and then I came into Excel and typed out the average figure for each of the four elements that I wanted to show, cancer, heart, liver, and kidney, and then the COVID deaths per day like so. And then I've created this graph based on that. So it's a straightforward, if I just delete this one off so you can see it, highlighted the, the data and just created a column chart. That's all I did for that one. So insert column, 2D column, and then just adjusted the width of that so you could see it a bit better. Uh, not too much because I then needed to paste that into PowerPoint. So I just copied that and into PowerPoint if I go and create myself a new slide, paste that in, just get rid of this stuff. And then um, I animated this. So if I go up to animations, add animation, dissolve is the one that I selected. And then in there, I effect options animated the chart as elements in category. Okay, like so. And then I had this with previous, and then the time duration for that is there. On transitions, I've already set it to be on a particular time duration, not on mouse click. So that was that one. So back into Excel, the next one along was this one. So this is looking at weekly totals. So slightly diff more difficult. And to get these labels, I've just right clicked on the columns and add data label. It's got format there at the moment because it's already on. But if I take one off, if I delete these ones, so they're not there. When you right click, add data labels, and then you can right click format data labels. And you can then go to this option and change the alignment, which I did, like that. And I also um, wanted the series, na category, series name, yeah, series name, like so. So if I just delete this one, I won't reformat it. So what I had to do on this one is obviously I don't want all the data in between, so I've added a, a sum function there. So just summarizing the deaths per week. And then this is how you create that graph. So holding my control key down, I just select. In fact, I didn't do it like that. I selected the blank cell because I need the titles. Hold my control key down, select, select, and then move across like this. Week four, and then across again to week five, six, seven, and eight. Keeping your control key down all the time. Oops. 
So just get seven and eight. And then, then once you've done that, you can let go and create a column chart, which will just be the weeks. There's the weeks. There's your legend at the bottom. So that's okay. Just make that a bit bigger. And you can put a, a chart title in there, weekly deaths. I didn't do that on the other one, but there you go. And then it was a case of copying and putting that into PowerPoint on a new slide and applying the same sort of rules that I did with the animation, animations, add animations, go for dissolve again, dissolve in, okay. Go across and set that to come in element in category. Okay. And then you sort out the all the transitions and stuff afterwards. So that needs to be with previous. After previous, sorry. That's that one. And then the last one, I'll just get myself a blank slide. The last one is summarizing them all. So basically what I've done on this one is let's get rid of this graph. You can see the columns at the bottom there. So I've just inserted a column. First thing I did was copy and paste the week totals, which I've already got on that other sheet. And then I've got a sum function adding up these for lots of deaths. And then the COVID summary there. So what I want from this one is I just want the dates. Let's just go for, let's go for, the, we just want these two, don't we? That's that, that, those two. And the dates. on these I might have to get the dates manually but I'll just see what this looks like yeah not good so I won't do that I'll just do this first off that one move the chart move the chart over now I've got the just one, two, three, four there at the bottom. So what I'm going to do there is go and select data for this, edit, and then just select the dates like that. It's not the only way to do it, but you get the idea. Like so. And then you've got your, this is still, this is still up from before, format axis. It's because I was clicked there. If I click there, it changes format axis. And then you can change um the duration so if i say weeks not weeks seven days seven days for major and then one day for minor that gives you that effect again that we had that I had on the the graph i did i won't bother with the title this time but you do put should put a title in then i'm just going to copy and paste that one back into powerpoint Paste, get rid of the design ideas if you don't want that. Add animation, dissolve in. Okay, effect options, chart animation, element in category. Okay, like so, that's what you want. And then obviously, you should have put the labels on, but it doesn't matter. That's how I achieve these first three graphs put the labels on and then these these totals there if I just go back into Excel I just basically created a table where I then recreated those those graphs so it's a case of insert column a little 2d column for average deaths daily deaths and then I did the same with my control key starting in the blank cell and then holding my control key down to pick up the weekly deaths and insert column like so and then I just copied and pasted both of these into PowerPoint it's how I got these and I just put that one on that one so it's there all the time as it's running and then that one at the top there for that slide as it's running so that's how I created this uh, I hope that was of use to you and I thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one